Yeah, that's probably who did it. All right. We'll call the meeting to order. It's 9 o'clock. Um, uh, we want to go ahead and start with the prayer and the pledge. Supervisor Steen is going to lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Father, Lord, just thank you for our brave had this past week, Lord. That County, Lord, as far as the things that we're trying to do to make uh, it a better place for everyone. And Father, we just ask for your blessings to be up, to continue to be upon us, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Attention, salute. I pledge you the reason to the flag of the United States of America. One nation, under God, indivisible, Liberty and justice for all. All right. Okay. Uh, Mr. President, if you'll look at your agenda, it shows a February 16th date. You may remember that we had previously adjourned to February 16th at 5 p.m. When that time arrived, we were under such weather conditions that. to continue the meetings at 2 o'clock every day. We made announcements at the front and rear entrance of the uh, board uh, meeting uh, entrances uh, to the public to let them know uh, in accordance with law that those meetings would be continued day to day uh, and ultimately until today at 9 a.m. Thank you. Mr. President, could I get someone to acknowledge that in the meeting to explain the difference in our original planned date and the meeting date? Did we get a motion on that? Okay. Is that a second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Also, Mr. President, prior to the uh, weather storm that we had, you were asked to declare a state of emergency for us to be able to appropriately respond to the events that were pending. Could I get a ratification of your declaration of emergency? Motion to ratify. Is that second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right, Mr. President, Supervisors, just to give you a little clue as to what all's been going on. Uh, you know, fortunately, most of us get to sleep several hours each night. The Sheriff's Department and other functions of the county <laughs> run 24-7. Uh, Mr. Sheriff, would you like to tell the Supervisors what you and your department saw over the past uh, seven days? Uh, well, we had, obviously, as you guys know, a lot of ice, a lot of snow, uh, a lot of bad road conditions. <clears throat> Uh, first of all, I want to thank all of the other uh, first responders and emergency county personnel, road department, fire departments, uh, EMA, Albert, and his. Uh, we did not have a lot of issues. I don't think we had a, uh, any significant uh, emergency accidents. We had a lot of uh, vehicles that slid off the road. Trees down, uh, Cornelius, I don't think we had any major road blockages that lasted any length of time. So. Uh, working with us, bearing with us when we did have some some blockages, but uh, all in all, went went pretty well. Okay, and the sheriff. A few trees down, limb popping from the ice freeze. Had a lot of pine and cedar trees that had popping in, but we were able to get out to maintain everything. We were able to get out, put some on the bridge before the sneak come in and stuff. So, pretty much everything was smooth after that. Good deal. All right, thank you. And then uh, Albert Jones, EMA director, was mentioned also by the sheriff. Uh, I just want to say that Albert has been working with MEMA. Uh, various county departments, medical facilities in the area, as well as first responders. Albert, any comments from you? Good morning, board. Good morning. Only thing I say, um, all in all, Madison County held up pretty good. Um, we had different spots with power outages, water, as well as lights, but total overall, Madison County, everything went good. <clears throat> um, only thing we'll be facing now is trying to, we probably gonna have busted to this around we may have to distribute water to them so they can flush the toilets and have drinking water so that's what we got this morning 
Thank you. Also, we're under a bull water alert for this building or all of our buildings in the city of Canton. And Emergency Management and Albert have been making sure that we have drinking water in all of the buildings this morning. He mentioned uh, electrical outages. Right now there are 256 outages on the Entergy system. Uh, and that is down from right at 4,900, I think was their peak number uh, last week. Also, Tim uh, and I have been in contact throughout this week uh, over road conditions and, and issues uh, affecting bridges. Uh, Danny uh, and the buildings and grounds crew have been out taking care of our buildings, fortunately. Uh, while Albert mentioned uh, pipes burst, we have, I think, only two buildings where we have uh, a problem with our plumbing this morning. Um, Heath Hall, our IT group, our HR group has all been on standby working for things, keeping our website updated and information distributed. Uh, our purchasing department has been involved in a couple of issues that we had to purchase uh, this week, and then the comptroller's office even ran a payroll uh, last week. We were very fortunate. Most of our citizens followed the admonitions, as the sheriff, uh, sheriff indicated earlier. Uh, and generally, those are a rundown of the things that have happened over the past seven days. Garbage collection resumes this morning on regular schedule. Any comments or questions? Thank you. Thank you for okay. what all of you did. Well, well, actually, we'd like to thank all of you all because you are all out there. And, I, you know, Alva kept me uh, informed all the time. And I had to... Uh, uh, to move around a little bit myself because of my other business and Apple was always telling me which best way to get from A to B without running into the uh, ditch even though it came close a few times but uh, Apple did a great job and so did Cornelius so we'd like to thank all of our, our, our team that's out there helping our citizens get around in times like this and uh, I, I know they appreciated it yeah okay. and uh Mr. Bank, <clears throat> I would just like to piggyback on, on what you're just saying. Uh, first, I want to thank all of uh, the first responders. Checking the welfare of the children. Thanks. Uh, Albert, outstanding job. Cornelius, uh, breaking through trees and ice, uh, getting to people's houses, make sure that they're still there and still living. Thank you. Uh, thank you to uh, Farm Haven Volunteer Fire Department, Marshal Chief Brown and his crew. They went beyond the call of duty, uh, risking their safety. Uh, I want to say thank you to uh, CMU, uh, East Madison Water Association, Entergy, uh, for working basically round the clock because we had people stranded in Northeast Madison County for several days with no heat, no water. Uh, these guys went out and checked on them. Uh, I want to Think some private uh, citizen that I know I'm gonna miss a whole lot of, a whole lot of. One is uh, Marlo's backyard barbecue. Uh, he donated food. <clears throat> Mr. and Ms. Washington from Battleview do donated food. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Roger Scott donated food to people that couldn't get food. Uh, there's so many more. Uh, I'm just telling you, thank you from all the citizens in District 5. Thank you. Job well done, and I think we'll learn a lot from what we experienced the last four days to build on to make it even better to respond to the taxpayers of Madison County. Thank you. That's right. Anybody else? You know, I, I disagree with what y'all have said. It's hard to add to it because everyone was out working. And, and we all appreciate it, and it shows. It showed. So uh, thank y'all very much. <clears throat> all right, then. Um, Mr. Chancellor Clerk. Yes, Mr. President, you have before you the February the 1st, 2021 board minutes. I would ask that there are no changes of any kind. The, plea, the board please approve said minutes. Is there a motion? 
Motion for approval. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Thank you. There are no concerns, citizenship. Mr. President, none signed up before the meeting and none have signed up this morning. Okay. Okay, consent items. Motion on consent item. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Okay. <coughs> Business items. Library person is not here yet. Mr. President, the one agenda. Okay, good. Or oh, I'm sorry, the first meeting in March, I first should say. I'm not sure March. that's March one. Okay. Uh Tim Bratt, County Engineer. <coughs> engineer of the county. Engineer of the county. Two items for you. First is a preliminary plat for Pinehurst of Caroline. As you know, typically uh, Scott Weeks does these, but this one has a variant request of a dead end street longer than 500 feet. So we request that you approve the preliminary plat and you also allow them a dead end street longer than 500 feet. Okay, I'll make that motion. Is that a second? Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Okay. The second item I have is. Uh, a contract with Headwaters Natural Resource Group. This is in response to the Bachelor Creek issues that we're having on flooding. We have asked that Headwaters get with MDEQ and also the Corps of Engineers to see what requirements that we're going to have to, in order to do some work on that creek. Motion. Is this a oh, second? All in favor? Uh, uh. Mr. President, I do have a, I have a question. Okay. This is just for Headwaters to get with another agency to see exactly what we can remove or are they planning on removing the island? No, they're just plant they're doing the upfront work to see if we're allowed to remove and what we're allowed to remove. Okay. And this all has to do with that creosote plant on Covington Street. Right. And the contaminate potential contamination of Bachelor Creek. Okay, good deal. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay. Next. You finished Tim. Okay, Attorney Espy. Bill the exceptions lawsuit uh, and the uh, $60 million damages lawsuit both dismissed with prejudice, which means that they cannot be refiled ever again in life on the same set of facts. So that's something that we insisted on and we were able to get. So the orders have been filed, entered, and uh, you have them before you, and I'd like a motion that they be acknowledged. I'll make a motion to acknowledge uh, both the uh, NCL waste co court order and the court order of dismissal. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. All opposed. Okay. Right. The other one was, you remember the board last meeting agreed to sell 1.52 acres of lands to Keycrete. The uh, deed has been uh, prepared and ready for signature by the board president and the purchase amount is available to be given to the Administrator, and uh, we need to allow Chairman Banks, President Banks, to sign the deed. The motion. motion. Make a motion. Uh, second by Supervisor. I second. You second. <laughs> <laughs> Supervisor Stain. Motion made by Supervisor Jones. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Okay. Come on. Okay, next is our county administrator. Mr. President, supervisors, there's an item here uh, attached to your agenda related to our continuing disclosure with the Securities and Exchange Commission. This is just an update document to uh, file that we need approval for you to sign on. Okay, 
Do you have a motion, please? Motion. Do you have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Next, we have our uh, control. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Um, the first item I have for your consideration and approval is the budget amendments and interfund cash transfers. Make a motion for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. The next items are 43 through 46, which is the general claims docket and three payroll dockets. Motion. Okay, the motion made by Supervisor Baxter, the second by Supervisor Jones. All in favor? Aye. Item number 47 is the approval of the written report from the Justice, Justice Court. Make a motion for approval. Okay. Hey, wait, I've got that as 48, so it's 47. Yes, 47. I have it as 47. Okay. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. 48. And the last item for your consideration and approval <clears throat> is the Fleet Corps claim docket. Motion. Yes, second. Second. All in favor? Goody, goody. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Chancery Clerk, Ronnie Lott, do you have uh, Nothing time? further, Mr. President. Thank you. Sheriff Randy Tucker. I don't have anything, Mr. President. Do we have any old business? Oh, you would have some. Uh, Mr. President, Board of Supervisors, I just got a couple of things I put in front of you. Uh, those inspectors looking for another contract inspector. Uh, and I have a Donald Long, Jeff Williamson. Mm hmm. Yes. Well, judging by the resumes, it looks to me that Jeff Williamson has the most qualifications. Uh, he is highly certified. There's no doubt about that. Um, I'll make a motion to hire him. I'll second that motion for a little further discussion, Mr. Okay. President. Uh, Scott, this is, from what I understand, this is not to um, hire full time in house. This is to for contract work. Correct? Yes, this is a contract inspector, just okay. like the two we have. Okay, that's uh, so. This person would be used, you know, as as uh, as often as we call and and ask, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. Yeah, I I, I was. Uh, yeah, I've, yeah, I've said this other person who's had um, certifications, and you know, I'm, I'm aware of Don Lawrence. I know Don Lawrence was at, at, uh, has um, a lot of uh, yes certifications, and and as well, he uh, is uh, you know has a lot of experience. The you know the the job that you have a, a or to have a need for. Um, I, I would believe you're going to end up having inspections, you know, all over the county, and in certain areas where I know that uh, there may not be as much experience in those areas as it is in others in terms of knowing the people and knowing how to find the locations and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so, but I, I, I'll, I'll see how you, how, how we vote on this and you, know, you may need, uh, you may need additional help. <clears throat> I, I, I don't know. I, I would like to just make a substitute motion to hire uh, the guy that Trey just said, and Donna Lawrence. The reason why, 
because I think we got two inspectors right there. One, I think, is at retirement stage. Oh, yeah. And there ain't no reason to wait until we're in the position again. If we go on and, and, and feel it now, we know in a month or, or, or six months, we won't be right back to the, what we're doing again. We have somebody already in place. Well, that does make sense. I'll second that motion because that does make sense. And at the same time, it doesn't increase uh, employment since it's all basically in rotation uh, and you may need the help. And, and at the same time, if, if you don't get people coming in and, and building anything, none of them will, will be working. So I'll, I'll second that substitute motion. Uh, we're going to vote on the substitute motion first. Um, let's have a vote uh, on the substitute motion. Vote all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, all opposed? No. Okay. That was, uh, you voted no? Uh-huh. Okay, so the substitute motion failed, the original motion then. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. I have it. One one thing that I would uh, suggest, uh, Mr. President, is I, I do not know the person that you recommended, but I would recommend that in in helping and doing this type of work for them to continue to get certified, to get certifications, and when this comes open again, uh, they would be you know well qualified and have certifications, uh, you know. Uh, I, I like just to my call suggestion. Vote, uh, Mr. President. Okay. You like to do what now? We want to roll call on the vote. Okay. Okay. On the second, on, that would be on the motion. The uh, 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 Supervisor Steen, how do you vote? Which motion we voted on? The primary, primary motion. Is, I voted yes. Okay. Supervisor the Baxter? Primary, yes. Okay. Supervisor Jones? Yes. No. And Supervisor Banks also voted no. That was a 3-2 vote. Okay. Next. Uh, uh, Mr. President, I would also uh, like to y'all to direct Mike, Mr. Espy, to get a contract uh, for this contract worker, work on the paperwork on that. Yeah. Make a motion on that. Is that second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. No. <laughs> and question to Scott. Yeah. Scott, is, is this guy certified as you've been talking about already? The Williamson? The one that uh, the one voted. they just voted for. Yes, he is he is almost a master cert certified inspector. He's only like two tests away from being at the top of what you can be. Mm -hmm. I, th I put the Resume there on your desk. Um, mm -hmm. is, we don't say that. Cause I think we voted a month and a half ago to vote to how this master certified person. He didn't even show up for now inspection. He he took another job. Yes, he took another job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mr. President, how was the vote on that last motion? If you don't mind. Then? Three two. Three two. Okay. I do have one more thing. Uh, okay. This was a table from the last meeting, Percy Grant. That was the rezoning R2 to C2 yeah. on Highway 16 West. Uh, did meet with him and came up with some conditions on uh, opening and closing times, or, or actually the closing times of a Friday and Saturday close at 1 a.m. and Monday through Thursday close at 10 p.m. Yeah, uh, Scott and I met with Mr. Grant, and uh, I think we came up with some different, like I said, <clears throat> time that opening and closing that uh, we can live with. And he understand that uh, if things not ran right, it can be changed. So I make a motion to approve it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, new business. I have a new business item, so I'll go first. Lake Loma Utility District 
uh, has re-nominated uh, Mr. William D. Uh, Seagrove for an additional five-year term as the commissioner on the Lake Utility District Board. I'd like to make a motion that we accept this uh, Mr. Seagrove to that board. I'll second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Uh, thank you. Mr. President, I have one new business as well. Okay. Uh, as always, we're uh, trying to find help and money to do many of these projects that, uh, that we currently have committed to and, and that's underway. And I would like to uh, make a motion uh, for the president to sign, uh, you know, to send a letter to our, our delegation, our senators, representatives. And I'm going to read this motion off uh, just to make sure that it's uh, that is correct. Uh, the motion is to authorize president of the board to send a letter to our congressional delegation, delegation updating the county's efforts and requesting federal support for the county's comprehensive watershed management program, reunion parkway crossing, bill grant, public safety, local law enforcement programs, and broadband access. All in favor? I spoke with the president about this yesterday, and I wrote all the board members about this last evening. Midweek from the attorney for the city of Canton, and the three documents all related to the same issue. There was an ordinance passed by all of the Canton aldermen, signed by all of them, a resolution signed by all of them, and uh, an agreement which is before you today. And all of it relates to the intent of the city of Gadden to abrogate or to abolish their municipal elections commission. Inside of the resolution and the ordinance, they had to set forth the reasons by statute. And the reasons generically were uh, it was more efficient for them to cancel the municipal elections commission. And then more specifically in the resolution, uh, it, um, it gave as a reason the difficulties they had in the last municipal election, 2017, to uh, go through the process without criminal procedure. Some members were, some, some were indicted. So uh, it basically said that the city of Canton felt that it would be more efficient for them in the upcoming elections, which are coming up in April to abolish their Municipal Elections Commission. And by statute, uh, they were evidence in their intent to uh, enter an agreement with Madison County for the Madison County Election Commission to conduct the elections of the Municipal Elections, the, the former Municipal Elections Commission. Now, by statute, this is proper. Uh, there's a statute pretty new. It's 2315-221. It says that uh, if there is no other option, the city election commission can petition the county within the county where they're located to conduct their elections. And that's everything. That's polling locations, ballots, hiring poll workers, the whole shebang. Um, and the statute says that uh, the county, within where the city resides, uh, if there's no other option, they have to do It's a new statute. It says that um, the fee is set by the municipality. But the agreement must be agreed to by the county. 
All right? So, so inside the ordinance, they set the fee for you. They want to pay $10,000 per general election and $5,000 per runoff, municipal runoff, into the future. Uh, and that's set forward in this agreement, which is before you today. Now, uh, I noticed that the Madison County Election Commission, they've also been informed they have a special meeting on the 26th. But the agreement has to be signed by you, by the President's board, and agreed to by you. So um, it's time urgent. Every member of the board signed it, but the mayor did not. I'm not, we don't want to get into their business, but that's, but you know that if every member signed it, then even if the mayor vetoed it, they could override yeah. the veto. So this is before us. They have abolished, the city and county has abolished its municipal election commission. The elections are, municipal elections are coming. They're asking you to take over. The election commissions are authorized. The Madison County Election Commission to do it and to pay them ten thousand dollars per general and five thousand dollars per runoff. And there is a statute which says if there is no other option, that you uh, must do it. Mm -hmm. Does this does the statute say um, the fee for the election commission? The statute says that the, well, the statute doesn't say that. The statute says um, the Attorney General, the Attorney General opinion say that the municipality, in fact, the, the words were, it has long been held in matters like this that the municipality will set the fee to pay the county. But it doesn't say the county has to agree, all right? So if we parse words, um, this agreement before you is an agreement from Canton, an intent to enter into an agreement with you. Mm -hmm. So they're intending to enter an agreement with you, whereas a provision is they intend to pay you 10000 5000 It doesn't mean you got to agree to it. So to me, that may be a matter of negotiation. Yes, the next question going to be, is, Sheldon, if you got any knowledge of how how much a, a election would cost for the city of Kent. Um, Mr. Griffin, I'm thinking back. Uh, you may recall that about four years ago, the legislature changed the law and required your county election commissioners to uh, perform the same function for the school municipal school district elections mm -hmm. and then the school district was required to reimburse us the cost my recollection and I do not have it in front of me but I remember going back and forth with them my recollection is that it costs fifty eight thousand dollars for a school board election Wow! Yeah. And, and the school board is a little big now. it is it is going to be a little bit, a bit big. yeah well you you, you space wise I don't know population-wise. The school board election was outside of the city limits of Canton. Right. It's it's bigger than the it, city limits of, of Canton. Geographically. But you only had a couple of locations to put to vote. The city of Canton, of course, we're talking about a municipal election that doesn't. It's a little, it, it, I don't think that's apples and apples, in other words. Uh, I do... Uh, believe that before we could move move in any given direction, we need to get rid of the unknowns. Yeah. And the unknown right now is how much is going to cost. Yeah. You know, offer me ten thousand dollars to do a fifty thousand dollar job is not a good offer. I don't know what the job may, may it may take, but uh, I, I don't think I think ten thousand dollars is 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 going to be low elections are expensive um, the uh, the our election commission is will be meeting later this week Friday 
and I don't know, somebody needs to be getting in touch with them, and we, we need to be working on cost. Well, that was my question to the attorney. Did the election commission come up with this $10,000? No. And we, we think no, that they did not. No. no. Right. It came from, it came 